Hi loves, welcome to my YouTube. Why is this my first YouTube video, girl? I mean, it's been a long time coming, but we are here. Let's just get the ball rolling. So I asked you guys on Instagram to send through your questions because it's a QA. and a um, So I'm going to go through the questions. Our first question is, what has been the greatest accomplishment in your life so far? That's a great question, girl. Greatest accomplishment in my life would honestly be living my truth. I mean, I don't measure my success on materialistic things. That will be the greatest accomplishment in my life because I can go to bed and I can wake up knowing exactly who I am. And a lot of you can't leave the house knowing who the hell you are. Period. So our next question is a favorite color. I've actually got two favorite colors because I'm too generous. <laughs> I'm too generous, so I have two color, two favorite colors, girl. Uh, one is yellow and one is pink. If I had to pick between the two, oh my god, that's really hard because they both look good on me. Um, would definitely be yellow. I love yellow. Yellow just makes me so happy, and yellow on the on my color complexion just looks so good. Banana pussy bitch. What are your pet peeves? My pet peeves are I just can't stand dirty people. Like I can't stand clutter. I can't stand mess. I I consider myself OCD, so I like everything just to be clean. Um, yes, that would definitely be one of my pet peeves. Is just really dirty. Can't relate. What are your go-to cleaning products? My go-to cleaning products is bleach. Yes, girl, bleach. I love me my bleach. If your house don't smell like your local swimming pool, girl, is it even clean? Coronavirus. Coronavirus. What advice would you give your 16-year-old self? Honestly, I'll be like, let's see. Gulo lo I me me Oh my god, that's something my mom would say. <laughs> like, what, Leah, mother? Repeat that, for favor. Leah, my little lover. My advice to myself enjoy the rent free, enjoy the bill free life, enjoy not worrying, not having to worry about what's for dinner. Um, yeah, all of that shenanigans because once you become an independent boss, we fell. When did you know who you are? Um, I guess this is like when did I know I was trans? I've, I've just known ever since I was young. Like, I don't remember me in a boy clothes or anything. Like, all I can remember is a me. Story time. So back in primary school when I lived in New Zealand and Auckland, um, I used to steal my niece's clothes, but not just like any clothes girl. I was like, I would steal her church clothes. <laughs> Lillian, if you're watching, girl, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but you are more than welcome to come over and go shopping in my closet anytime. Anyway, so when I was younger, I used to like steal her clothes and go to school and get change and just wear her clothes at school, around school. And I would always just like avoid trying to bump into my sister or my cousins or even my niece. And then obviously just before school finishes, I would get changed back into like the clothes that I was supposed to go to school in. And then I'll go back home, fold her clothes. <laughs> that is nasty. Ah! I would fold her clothes and like, you know, casually put her back to where she belongs. Like nothing happened, minding her business. That's basically what I did. Um, so yeah, I've always just known that I was, I was trans. Any advice for anyone thinking of transitioning? Well, first of all, welcome to the community, girl. My advice to someone who is planning on transitioning is 
to take care of yourself. Put yourself first and your happiness first before anybody else. Your mental health is more important than your family and friends and the people around you. Do it. If it's going to make you happy, do it. Surround yourself with people who would motivate you to be the best version of yourself. It also helps if you have really good female friends because no tea, no shade against my trans sisters. But female friendship just hits differently. So don't be comparing your transition to any other girl's transition because your time is going to come where you're going to flourish, girl. You will flourish in your own time. Trust the purposes. My last advice for you will be get into your bag. Whether it's illegal or legal, girl. And none of my business. Y'all do you, boo. Because transitioning into a female is hella expensive. Let me tell you something, girl. She is expensive. Thank you guys so much for sending me your questions. I'm sorry if I didn't get the chance to answer your questions. Uh, if you want a part two, let me know down in the comments down below. Like this video. Subscribe if you like. You don't have to. Comment down below. Let me know what videos you want to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy lives to watch my channel. Until next time, enjoy the bloopers. Chat later. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Hi, love. Welcome back to my YouTube. Welcome back, girl. Take a seat. Welcome back. hungry. Guys, this is a lot of work. That's a lot of work. YouTubing is a lot of work. Like, now that I'm sitting here doing all of this, I'm just like, wow, they make it look so easy. It's not. Like, as soon as the camera comes on, it's like you don't even know how to fucking talk. Ah, 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 ah. Rubbing my money, rubbing my bag.